Normalcy has returned to the Asian city of Sokoto after Friday's clash between the police and members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria. The Shiites came out for a procession at Dambuwa roundabout but were dispersed by police officers. Police Public Relations Officer in the state, ASP Sadiq Abubakar, has debunked the report of an online newspaper that a life was lost, saying there was no life lost in the process. He also dismissed the use of live bullets on the Shiite members. The Sokoto State Police Command calls for calm as normalcy has since been restored. It urged members of the public to go around about their lawful businesses without any fear as the command has put in place adequate security arrangements to forestall any reoccurrence of such an event. Roy Okidiabe, our security expert, spoke on the state of the nation's security. We are doing so many things rightly, but we are not taking the appropriate speed. You know, the dynamics of crime is, is so fast that um, it's a world, it's a global standard. Mm -hmm. You know, before you know there's an active shooter situation in the U.S., we should actually put cognate active shooter protection systems and skills training awareness in everybody in that kind of space, like public malls, like schools, hospitals, mm -hmm. wherever it happens. You know, so we need that speed to actually close the gap on the dynamics of crime. Then we also look at data. We, we have not actually tried to synchronize properly data. Mm -hmm. And those that we have synchronized, like your driver's license, your vehicle documents, your international passport, your health, FHMO, and all of that, we have not allowed that um, access to like police investigators, they need to write letters when they want to get those kind of information. Mm -hmm. And it is not on the go. You know, so the collaboration of the um, synergy of all the data sources and the really populating the data sources with live information. Because so many SIM cards today will discover that they were registered falsely mm -hmm. or with wrong identity. So True. they need to populate it with the right information, ask for tangible um, documents that will show that you are the actual person being populated. Mm -hmm. Then we look, need to look at on the unpoliced areas. If you look at that Umpape and Abuja, let's take Abuja as a scenario. Mm -hmm. There is a blown out of um, population in Abuja. So many people were rushing to Lagos, mm -hmm. but now most people are migrating to Abuja. So a lot of outskirts now, you see these people doing um, um, get a home for so so and so amount, mm -hmm. get you can build your house in one year. So a lot of lands are being given to developers, people are buying population is expanding to the outskirts. I think we need to look at imputing security um, architecture, security coordinates in those outskirts that we are blowing. Mm -hmm. Because most of the criminals now reside there, come to the town on strike and go back. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at unpoliced areas and try to manage those spaces.